What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to this first monthly update video all to do with the WBC Builds creative server. So I'm going to be using this platform as a way to show off what's been going on on the server, show you guys some of the new builds, new towns, new builders we have on and it just it's a nice way for you guys to keep up to date of what's been going on and to see a few more towns and villages around that I haven't showed off yet in any showcases. So these videos are coming about because the server is now whitelist only. Uh, which means our builders are the only people that are allowed on. We are going to be working with our sort of main participants in Discord to get them on as guests. So if you guys want to become a guest on the server to look around, please join our Discord below, find out how, find out how to stay active. And if you actually wish to be a builder, again, follow the same procedure, come on over to our Discord and let's get meeting and let's get you going. So without further ado, let's get around. I'm going to show you guys the top stories of what's been happening in Whiteburg. Okay, well our main story this week is the fact that I've actually started streaming some version of the Let's Build Wolverhampton series. Uh, mainly we've been building the docks so far and that canal tunnel down there which has all become really good fun and it's been such a nice way of doing it. Uh, I've been quite worried and hesitant about streaming before mainly due to internet connection issues but I believe we've come around and got over all those little hiccups and what we've managed to achieve on stream so far is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys that's popped around, thank you all for sort of playing a part in that and even those guys that watch back on the um, on the video demand on YouTube later on. But yes, so this is the Royal Victoria Warehouse built in the central part of the Wolverhampton docks and it's been what I've been working on mainly quite a bit. Uh, there will be a Let's Build video on this at some point in the future on the channel so keep your eyes out for that. But what this does now show us is the fact that we've got a connection up here to the north following this canal now so that's a way of getting up to Hamwick which is another town we haven't started yet but will eventually become something and just traveling through here oh I love it it's so much fun we've got these little lanterns in here to make it quite interesting and quite cool so that's not the only thing that's been going on in Woolhampton uh, if you guys have already seen you would have seen um, episode 7 of my Let's Build Woolhampton series which was all to do with Dock Lane so let's jump on over there and I'll show you a few more things in that place Okay, so Dock Lane is my newest area of town and I am in love with it so much. There is so much going on here. We've got these beautiful Regency styled villas lining the tree lined streets. And not just that, we've also got these beautiful cars. This is um, actually my first attempt at building a car and I was quietly surprised with how well it turned out. Not gonna lie, I really like it. Uh, it meets the same motif as these lamps going down here. But again, these houses are just pure, gorgeous Georgian houses. Uh, so the next part of this town around here to be built is going to be King's Square just up here. At the moment it's a building site, you can see that, but eventually it will be lined with Georgian townhouses similar to those we find in town itself. So moving on down through Dock Lane, we also have the area known as Woodside. So this is the section of Woolhampton all the way along at the bottom of Lymore Park Road and it's bordered by the railway line. So that brings us on to the second top story of today's tour. That's right, it's the railway line. So this railway line now carries on all the way down towards the town of Hambridge. That's our very new place, I'll show you that off in a second. But this is the Lymore Causeway Bridge, built in this beautiful green painted iron girder style. It spans probably the one of the widest and tallest parts of the River Lymore, but it had to go this way due to where the junction requires to be, and also the way the railway line came out of the town. So this bridge has been my recent streaming session, and I really actually like how it turned out. So if you see this curve of track, well, curve of brown wall going off towards the left here, this will eventually lead to a little village called Brookley. Now Brookley is going to be very reminiscent of the, the village of Brockenhurst in the New Forest, so I can't wait to start building that one. But without stalling too much, let's get on down to one of our newest places in town. That's right, it's Hambridge. So Hambridge has been built by MS Builds. He's fairly new to the server, only being on about a month now. And my god, look at this. So I came on the other day and he built this entire little hamlet outside his town of Hambridge. And there's even like a mill. Uh, I think that's another pub there. And then we've got all of these areas that are going to be filled with some fields and some hedgerows and that. But these are just small little cottages along the road. I think this is a post office. This is a little place called Carlton, if I remember correctly. And this is on the way into Hambridge. So look at this, a proper English styled uh, iron girder bridge over the road, taking the railway across. Oh, it's just perfect. And then if you come into town, you see this, this long red brick wall, and that leads you up 
to this manor here, Hambridge Hall. So uh, there's so much to see and do in this town. And I think what's going to happen is, just look at that, it's incredible. So me and Jamie are going to come back here later on this month and give this place a proper tour because it really, really does deserve one. So I'm going to show you guys quickly the high street and the train station before we move on to our third top story of this week. But yes, look at this place. It's so English. It works so well. Uh, there's just such a feel about it. The unmade roads, the lovely Flint Church over there in the background. And then if you turn this way, you've got all sorts of other little bits and bobs, little details going on. Look, even the gas tower on a, on a gas plant is perfect. This is how I want to build my towns, but I just haven't got around to doing it yet. So this is Hambridge Station along the main line between Woolhampton and Sutton. Sutton being one of the new towns I'm going to be starting later on this year. It's going to be a lovely seaside town. And this is just an intermediate station, but it's also got a branch line. The branch line is going to go off to a place called Lymouth, which is going to be a small little fishing town uh, planned out by me and MS Builds. So we're going to get onto that at some point later on this year. But this is amazing. This is just beautiful. I love it. I love these bridges with the uh, abutments and the flying walls here. And it's just perfect. So this has been top story number two. Let's jump into top story number three. And that is all about Europa having a brand new town. <coughs> So here we are in the town of Bresni, I believe that's how you say it, uh, correct me if I'm wrong Limbo, and this has been built by Limbo. He is a builder on the server, he is famed for building a beautiful Norwegian style town which we'll go have a look at as well, but this is incredible. It's sprung up over a, over a few weeks, obviously we're during lockdown, so it's quite easy to get a bit of time on here, but my god, he has built this beautiful uh, 19th century uh, European style town. Let's just take a quick peek up around here. You can see there's a lot more still needing to be built, but the square itself is actually beautiful. I love how we've got all these diagonals going on. The angles are perfect. The colour schemes, they're so warm, vibrant, and just lovely at the same time. Uh, the use of end rods here on the windows helps bring a bit of light in here. Uh, I know I don't do that much in any of my towns, and it's a shame because we don't really have much light in Woolhampton or anywhere, really. But coming down here, I love what he's done with the roads. They are like a checkered board sort of type thing for pedestrian areas. And there is so much scope here to see so much stuff. Oh, oh no, he's found us. So this is Limbo. He is the guy building all of this. And what an amazing man he really is. We've not shown off any of his work so far in any of our showcase series yet, which is a, a sad because there is so much to see of his. So this is beautiful. And I can't wait to see a bit more progress on it over the coming months because I really feel this town has a massive amount of potential to just be beautiful. But yeah, it's definitely rivaling Offenberg's status as the largest European town on the server. So builders of that place, be warned, this place is definitely growing quickly. Now let's take a look at a few of the other towns to give you guys an understanding of what's been going on across the whole server as a whole, but these were the top stories, the things I definitely needed to show off. So our first stop is Limbo's other town of Harkensburg. Now this is meant to be based a bit more on a Scandinavian style, although it's still obviously got quite a lot of European influences to it. Uh, this is his first town on here, and it's beautiful. Like this building here, I believe, is meant to be the town hall, and I think there was a half-finished opera house somewhere, which was just going to look absolutely incredible. But yeah, he's moved on from here to start building in Bresni, the new place, but... Yeah, I, I haven't really looked around this place too much lately at all. There's so much going on. It's, it's actually beautiful. This was the first bit he built. It's like a little um, a little uh, mill on, on the river. And it kind of just works. Like It's meant to be like the basic centre of the town. And everything else is growing out from there. There's the rest of the mill. What a great little feature. So there was a train station somewhere. I haven't been over the sea yet. I think it's this way. A little plane in the sky. Excellent. Ah, here we go. Oh, this is back to over here. Yeah, here we are. So this is an opera house. I can't remember if it was based on the Paris one or not, but it's gorgeous. This huge spire at the top of this flagpole, and then we've got these little copper statues outside, which work perfectly well. Nice little bridge made out of sandstone, and then behind this, I believe, yes, here we are. This is the train station. Absolutely incredible work. I love the patterning on the floor. That was one thing I saw from our dynamic map of how good that looked. And these little uh, bushes and that around. But yeah, let's go on inside quickly. Let's have a quick gaze up at this huge roof. Man, this place is cool. Ah, oh, and there's some trains over here. I believe this one's been taken off from Woolhampton, but this is so good. 
So a little patterning on the floor again, and then we've got the big old train yard at the back. So uh, I can't remember which direction everything was traveling. I think this way was towards his new town uh, of Bresney. So let's jump on over now to Offenburg and see how that's been going. So we find ourselves now in the European capital of Offenburg. So this is the main central uh, community town on our server. And I haven't been here for months. I can't lie, I haven't actually ventured over here. My god, it's grown. There is so much happening. When I first came here, I built that one. This lovely bank right here on the square. And we had a few buildings around here. And me and Jamie popped on over to make a little tour video. Uh, coming back now, you can see there has been so much growth. Uh, I know recently we've got a new builder on called CASK. A Minecraft, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm just going to spell it out like that, and he's been adding a few buildings to the town as well, but I've actually not ventured over here in probably about two months. So they've been building up a navy, this is all thanks to Minecraft Repro, he is the king of building ships, I'm not going to lie, uh, also built a railway line, I'm just going to have to question this, I, I don't think trains can go around almost 90 degree bends, um, maybe, maybe fight in the comments amongst yourselves about that one, but I do not think that's actually practical but what is practical is the beautiful beautiful central train station here oh my god it is purely opulence with this proper european feel to it um i need to come back and give this whole place a proper showcase again because it's been a while it has been a while lovely train in the station here my god i haven't actually seen any of this um so thanks guys for working on it i know laurie as well he's been working on a lot of stuff in offenburg but there has been so much growth. Ah, I think this one over here is one of our new builder's works. I know he has his own town as well now, so I think he's just built a town called Kingsbridge, which is on the road between Wolhampton and Whiteburg, so we're going to get round to that at some point. But this is marvellous. It's a proper European-style building, and I think it fits in Offenburg perfectly well. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, guys, if that is his building, but I think it is. We've got another one over here. These diagonals I know have been built by Laurie because he does diagonals everywhere. We'll have a look at his town of Churchill in a moment. But yeah, so this is this is a community town. If you apply to become a builder, this is where you can start off if you don't feel like starting your own town just yet. So it's definitely worth coming to look at this if you are uh, applying to be a builder. And obviously, like I said, come join our Discord, find out how you can join uh, the server itself and do all of those fun bits. So the next town in question, I believe, is Rensgate, which has been built by Hology. Uh, and I, I think it is really needs just to be showed off a little bit. We will have a whole showcase on it soon because there is just so much to see there. So let's jump on over to Rensgate. And here we are in Rensgate, the beautiful sign that is nowhere near the middle of the town because I put it here, unfortunately, originally. Uh, you can see behind me, he's working on a sort of tower bridge type-esque building. Uh, beautiful. This whole town has been built in this very nice gothic and neo-gothic style, reminiscent of the House of the Parliament in London. Uh, I haven't showed off any of this yet, which is really sad because... It's beautiful. Like, again, I'm actually so overly happy with the work these guys have been doing on our server. So this is Hology. He is just an absolute godsend when it comes to this style of architecture. This is beautiful. This is the main college here. You've got these lovely ornamental lakes around here, these crosses, and then you've got the town itself, which is just, it looks perfect. The colours he's gone for, the colour scheme he has chosen, and the fact that he's flying the White Bergen flag over everything makes me smile. Um, so this is situated just north of Whiteburg. The, the actual location of the city will be one day, and it's quite a large college town. Um, and uh, what you can't see from here, which we didn't show off, is in the harbour over there, there's some big uh, cruise liners which will come up into a port near Hamwick. But this church is meant to be built like a sort of flint church, and he's used acacia logs for this, and I think they work so well. Like, honestly, I've never seen anyone try that before. Um, so yeah, he's just perfect. He has built some amazing stuff. Over in this direction is the Rensgate Station, uh, because we are building, obviously, a 19th century well, early 20th century uh, world, train stations are everywhere. So this is based, I believe, slightly on St Pancreas, but also slightly on the Houses of Parliament. Um, it is beautiful. Like, there is no other words for it. Beautiful is in my only word, in my vocabulary, without trying to swear at this. But this is honestly gorgeous. There we go, there's another word. So, yes, I, I just love it. I love it so much. I believe that's probably all the main things that has been going on. I don't think he's been on for a little while. 
Uh, there's some more stuff being built over there. And then obviously tracks being planned out here. Ah, oh, this is again amazing. I love how everyone's trying to do these curvy tracks because it just helps connect all the network up together. So this will eventually go off to connect in with one of the train stations in Whiteburg and also it'll have a connection up from Wolverhampton via one of the other routes. So that's everything to be seen in Rensgate. I think it's time to jump off over to Portmore and see what's been happening there. So I'm standing on the quay side of Portmore looking over at the castle and the church. And all I can say is, there has been no progress here in Portmore for at least two months. The dust has settled, there's cobwebs growing everywhere. Dweebs, where where are you? Come come back to us. We've not seen you, Lord and Saviour, for so long now. So yeah, that's all that's been happening in Portmore. Uh, nothing. So let's move on next to uh, Tynemouth, which is being built by Kuali, and see what's going on over there. Okay, so we're in Tynemouth now. This has been based upon a lovely seaside English sort of a Regency style town. We've got this quay down here for some sailing regattas to go on, but then you've also got this beautiful hotel over here built in an Italianate sort of a Regency style with these lovely curved windows up there, a nice little truck, and then a few other little buildings. I believe this one over here is the Royal Yacht Club of Tynemouth, which is again a great addition to the town. We can have some sailing regattas and all of that going on in the big sea over here. Uh, a few other things that have been going on, I believe, is a couple of little houses around, some more Regency styled ones. These look very reminiscent of a tutorial I've just done, actually, on a London styled uh, townhouse. So I think there was some more over here. Yeah, that's right. We've got a lovely floating boat here. Uh, this is just the idea of building some docks. Uh, Kuali's been helping me out with the docks over in uh, Wolhampton, so that's been great stuff. Uh, and then there'll be some more scope here to build this town up to have it export. I think it was clay or bricks over to Wolhampton, so we'll have to connect it in either with the canal network or at least bring it over to a station we can have it delivered to Wolhampton. So let's jump on over now to the town of Stoughton, which has been built by one of our new builders. We call him Sean, but I believe he's Das Auto something. I can't remember the exact name, so sorry for that, but let's jump on over to that town now. So here we are, which is obviously quite deceiving because we're in a village. I think that's because I haven't actually moved the warp for him at all. But in the distance there, between the waving grass, you can see it. The aqueduct, sorry, the viaduct that carries the railway line across this town. My god, it's beautiful. Well, this is the first thing he built. It's not actually connected into anything yet. I have seen he's been building it off over here with this beautiful curve of just track, which will go on down towards the docks he's building this way. But when he first came on and built this, we were flabbergasted by it. It's honestly the best way you could probably build one of these polychromatic styled uh, bridges made out of brick. Uh, the actual addition of granite really, really works. And I think these little townhouses along here, these little terraced of houses, just help bring that sort of industrial feel to it. So there's some more up this way. We've got the main town centre, I think. Uh, the train station here, which is built in quite a nice later Victorian style of it, of a nice mansard roof going on there. Uh, and this is Stoughton train station. And yet yeah, it will one day connect into the main line. I haven't figured out exactly where it's going to connect into. But I think we'll get it off over towards um, the European towns and then back up in towards Whiteburg. But yeah, great job here. Thanks, Sean. You've been doing well. Loads of progress. It's been good fun having you on the server. So let's jump on over now to one of our other new builders' towns. That's the one of Kingsbridge, which again is built by CAS Minecraft. And yes, here we go. So, so far he's been building the huge cathedral here, which actually looks beautiful. And I think it's perfectly scaled for what you want a cathedral to be. So that is great. Not much more progress going on here, but so far so good. So carry on the good work there. And that was a Norman tower he's built. Do you know what? I love the gradient in blocks over it. Uh, I hope you can do something with that and not just leave it floating there. I hope it's part of this building here. So thanks for that. We'll check back in with you one day later on to see exactly how it's going. But guys, this is one to be watching. This is gorgeous. So I've walked over now to Churchill, which has been built by Laurie, one of our builders on the server. He's been on for a few months now. I didn't realise the warp brought us into this room. I don't actually know what we're in. So this is a town built again in the European style of architecture. Lots of details going on. Lots of interesting coloured roofs. I don't know what that's all about, but it is looking good. Lots of little alleyways and all the windy little paths really, really, really help make this place feel like a European uh, town that's been built up over the centuries. So great stuff here. I've just noticed you've built your train station. Wow. This is very European feeling. Again, I don't know what it is of the purple roofs, but I like it. Um, the clock face is perfect. The way you've used birch there, I think that is something I haven't really... Oh, 
clock design by Limbo. Okay, well, we'll keep Limbo in mind for that clock design, but yes, it's a very nice looking clock. Um, and the station also, I see you've built like a little turntable here, and a little roundhouse. So this, this is the first time I've seen this on this scale and on, on this server. So again, well done, good job here. I may have to come to you for some ideas for stuff. Ooh, a little coal moving machine. Not gonna lie, I could do with this at the actual um, docks in Wolverhampton. So I may take some inspiration from this later on and see what we can do with it but yes this is perfect little coal yard and then you've got a big old pile of rubbish here as well that's a nice little touch but yeah we were joking around in the comments the other day on our discord and our builder section about this railway connection here where it was just like going in at a straight angle and it was just like uh I again i don't think a train can do that so if you need any help, contact us, um, me or MS Builds, and we can come on over and give you a little hand. We're building some realistic looking tracks, but so far so good with building all of this. I love what you've done with the track bed as well. It gives it a nice texture, and you've even got a little sidings over here. So, Laurie, good job. This town's coming along really nicely. Churchill is definitely one to have a, keep an eye on again. Oh, I forgot about that. That was also there in Offenburg, but it's a beautiful Gothic building. Uh, that is just gorgeous. So I think that wraps up for all the sounds. Let's get back on over to Wolverhampton and sum up today's video. So that's been quite a good little quick whistle stop tour around the whole of the server. Uh, if I have forgotten anything that you guys have seen, or if my builders are going to be screaming at me in the channel going, what, what, where's, where's my town? Then I am sorry. And obviously this is my first time of doing this. So there are going to be some sort of teething issues with this. But yes, if you guys have enjoyed this format and the way I've done this, then please let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so we can get that sorted for the next time. So this is going to be a monthly thing. I'm probably going to try and do it on the first Saturday or the second Saturday of each month. So this is for June and it's showing off what's been happening in May. But yeah, the next one's going to be out in July when we get an idea of what's been going on towards the beginning of the summer. So guys, thank you all for watching and I hope you've enjoyed looking around the whole server. Uh, and yes, join our Discord to find out exactly how you can join yourselves if you wish to be a builder or if you wish to stay active in there and become a guest. So guys, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.